Dạ, trước tiên thì Trang xin gửi lời chào đến quý phụ huynh và các bạn học sinh đang theo dõi buổi livestream của tổ chức giáo dục du học Unimax ngày hôm nay. À, và để tiếp tục buổi chuyên đề uh, series về những thông tin cần biết về Covid tại Mỹ, thì uh, hai buổi trước uh, Unimax đã chia sẻ thông tin uh, về tình hình Covid ở bang Florida và Alabama. Thì hôm nay chúng ta sẽ cập nhật tiếp tình hình uh, Covid ở bên bang Massachusetts. Uh, và và do đó là hôm nay Trang đã kết nối được với lại thầy Noel là đại diện tuyển sinh tại trường CAS Academy Boston ở bang Massachusetts Thì thầy sẽ cập nhật cho chúng ta biết về tình hình ở bang Massachusetts, cụ thể là ở Boston à, Và sau đó thì thầy sẽ chia sẻ về những cái hỗ trợ cho sinh viên quốc tế đang học tại, uh, tại, tại trường CAS Boston Để cho quý phụ huynh cũng như là các bạn học sinh có thể yên tâm hơn nha Ok, bây giờ thì Trang sẽ gọi cho thầy Noel. Hello, Mr. Noel. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. How are you today? Oh, hey, how's it going? The connection's yeah. not great. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you today uh, in our talk show series. And uh, first, can you introduce yourself to audience? Yeah. Can you hear uh, me so, clearly? Uh, can you hear me clearly? Okay. The connection for me is not that good. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, yes. I, I, I hear you clearly. Okay, great. Yeah, um, so I think if you went to ask me a question, uh, or could you put it in the chat? Because um, the connection, I can't hear you that well. Yeah. Or we could try calling one more time. Yeah. That's to try one more time. Yes. Okay. So, um, first, can you introduce yourself to audience? Yeah, maybe, oh, the, maybe, the, maybe the internet connection is low. Yeah, the connection. Do you want to try calling me back in? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So if I if I end the call and then you call me back, see if yes. that works. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I I will end the call and then you can call me back. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that now. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Ok, thì à, quý phụ huynh và các bạn học sinh à, Tại vì đường truyền có có hơi bị chậm đó, Cho nên là Trang sẽ cố gắng connect lại với thầy Noel một lần nữa nha Yeah, ok, I see you already So can you hear me clearly? Oh, I can't see at the moment Yes, um, yes, ok Ok There we go Yeah, ok, we, uh, we will start the talk show now So first, can you introduce about yourself to the audience? Yeah, the connection My connection really isn't very good at all. Um, let's see. Yeah. If if I am clear to you, then perhaps you can ask the questions maybe in the chat. Yeah. And then and and then I can answer because at the moment I can't really be I can't really uh, the, the connection's very bad. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a bit better now. Okay. And then. Oh, that's good. I think that's better now. Yeah. Yeah. It's better. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Okay, first, can you introduce yourself? Yes, of course. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Noel Radcliffe Mars, and I am the Director of Administration at uh, Cats Academy yeah. in the Boston area. And um, Cats Academy is an international boarding school. Yeah, thì thầy nói là thầy là đại giám đốc tuyển sinh của trường Cats Academy Boston. Yes. Okay. Please continue. Uh, okay. okay. And yeah. And uh, now we will talk. Uh, we will update about the uh, COVID 19 in Massachusetts, and then we will talk about the support from the Cast Boston for international students, and then we will move on to the Q and A section from the comment on Facebook. Perfect. That sounds very good. Thank you yeah. very much. Okay. Uh, first question. So, uh, how many infected and dead cases in total in Massachusetts? 
So um, at the moment, the figures for the most up-to-date figures are that we have <clears throat> around 18,900 yeah. uh, positive cases. Yeah. And then we have around uh, 492 deaths. Yeah. Um, and this, these statistics are from the end of day yesterday. Um, and in total, we've probably got about um, seventeen hundred people in hospital. Seventeen hundred so people in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. seventeen hundred. Yeah. yeah, I can hear clearly seventeen hundred and. Yeah, so seventeen hundred people in hospital. Yeah, uh, we've got about four hundred ninety deaths. Yeah, and yeah. then around eighteen thousand nine hundred. Um, eighteen thousand who, who have been tested yeah. positive. Yeah, yeah. Um, at, at the moment, we are looking to the, the peak, the very highest, uh, a number of cases. We're expecting in the next one week to two weeks. So that should be like the top of the mountain in the next one to two weeks. Yeah. Um, and like one good piece of news from us is that um, the, the, the percentage of people who have died yesterday was around 10% less than the day before. So yeah. fingers crossed, perhaps we might have reached the mountain um, now, but it's anywhere from like one to two weeks. Yeah, yeah, ok. Tức là uh, thầy nói là hiện tại là cái tình hình Covid ở bên Massachusetts á, thì hiện tại là tức là cũng đang trong cái thời thời uh, thời gian đỉnh điểm tuy nhiên là uh, trong khoảng hai tuần gần đây á, thì uh, cái cái tỷ lệ mà phần cái tỷ lệ mà người bị nhiễm bệnh á, thì nó cũng đã có cái cái uh, cái biểu hiện giảm và khoảng 493 uh, ca tử vong ở ở bên Massachusetts uh, và khoảng 17.000 uh, bệnh nhân đã được uh, bị nhiễm bệnh uh, và đã đang uh, nhập viện. Dạ. Yeah. Great. Okay. So, uh, how do people feel right now in Massachusetts, sir? So, good question. I would say, at the moment, generally people are quite feeling quite positive and practical. Yeah. And by positive, I don't mean they're happy about the situation, but they're 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 wanting to um, to help, and ultimately, people are trying to do everything that they can help people in their community. Um, so that's been quite quite good. It's the attitude here has been at the moment kind of we are all in this together. Yeah. Um, so if there's some old people in the neighborhood or some people who have maybe some underlying uh, illness like asthma or or something which affects the immune system, um, the community has been helping them out arranging groceries uh, and deliveries. Yeah. Um, So we're also we're we're quite fortunate in Massachusetts in that the majority of people support the state being quite strict about quarantine and about self isolation. Um, the the general population yeah. in Massachusetts supports this, so they're so they're going with the state and, yeah, the, yeah. and doing what the state does, yeah. which helps a lot as well. Yeah. So how about the uh, the, the the commercial activity in Massachusetts? For example, for entertainment, for shopping, is it closed or are still open right yes, now? Yes, yes. Yeah, very much so. So for, I'd say, probably now for about four weeks, um, all entertainment places have been closed. Yeah. So uh, you can't go to cinema, you can't go bowling, anywhere which attracts uh, people. Like All entertainment is closed. Um, the only shops which are open are what the state calls essential. So yeah. things which are essential to keep you safe and alive. Yeah. So things such as supermarkets are open. Um, if you need to go and get medications, pharmacies are open. Yeah. Um, and also um, restaurants are open, but only for delivery food yeah. and pick up food. You yeah. can't go and sit and have a meal. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. so yeah, all commercial activity apart from the essential things. It, it, it is is closed. Yeah. 
À, tức là thầy bảo là những à, trong khoảng à, 4 tuần gần đây á, thì tất cả các à, các cơ sở giải trí những cái chỗ mà giải trí hoặc là tụ tập đông người á, thì đã đóng tuy nhiên là những cái nhà hàng những cái nhà hàng hoặc là um, những chỗ mà cung cấp thức ăn cửa hàng tiện lợi đó thì vẫn mở để phục vụ những cái nhu cầu thiết yếu của uh, của của người dân ví dụ như là uh, về ăn uống chẳng hạn đó thì những cái này và có vẫn có một số nhà hàng họ vẫn mở nhưng không có phục vụ ở tại nhà hàng và chỉ có là uh, take away thôi cho nên là các bạn là um, tại vì là có một một số phụ huynh đó là hỏi trang là uh, ở bên Massachusetts thì đóng cửa hết rồi và không có cho uh, học sinh hay là không có có hạn chế đi ra ngoài rất là nhiều và cái việc mà mọi người mua sắm uh, tức là các bạn sẽ bị hoang mang về cái nhu cầu uh, đồ hoặc là hàng hóa bị bị cạn kiệt cho nên là Ừ, thầy Noel chia sẻ là các bạn thì không cần có phải từ cái chia sẻ của thầy Noel đó thì các bạn cũng sẽ yên tâm hơn về cái việc mà uh, hàng hóa sẽ rất là có available sẵn ở các cửa hàng cho chúng ta cho nên là cả quý phụ huynh và các bạn học sinh thì cũng yên tâm về cái phần này nhé. Yes, thank you. So how about uh, um, yeah, I know that the brush published that uh, supermarket is run uh, good. Yeah. So uh, I think that with the, your uh, your information is very helpful for my student who studying in Massachusetts. Yeah, in details oh, yeah. constant. Yeah. So so yeah, definitely. So I know in the media, not just in Vietnam but around the world, everyone was saying, "Oh, the supermarkets they have no food or or no essential products there." Yeah. So. At the beginning of the, the, the crisis in America, which was about four weeks ago, everyone started taking things very seriously here. Yes. Um, it, it became very real to us. Um, then a lot of people were going to the supermarket and what's called kind of panic buying. So they were buying all the toilet paper and yes. hand sanitizer, cleaning wipes. Um, it was difficult to find some vegetables like potatoes. People were just doing really, really, really big shocks. Yes. Um, so... That was for about the first week. But after that, the supermarket started saying, no, no, you're only allowed to buy one or two of this item. So they started rationing. Yeah. Um, and also people realized that they shouldn't be panic buying because the food supply is completely fine. There's no issues of buying food. Yeah. It is, though, still difficult to buy um, hand sanitizer and dis disinfectant wipes. But... There are other cleaning products you can use, like regular bleach. So you can buy regular bleach, uh, which is disinfects, and you can make your own solution and wipe down surfaces. Yeah, yeah. So it's not it's not impossible. Yeah. Um, one thing which has been extremely difficult to get is uh, yeast uh, for making bread and yeah. general baking supplies. Yeah. You can still buy bread. You can buy muffins. You can buy crumpets. There's so many different bread products to buy. But yeah. people want to be doing things at home. Yeah. So people want to bake bread at home. So buying yeast and baking spice is, um, is difficult. Yeah. But it's still completely possible for people to be able to eat well and survive by going to the supermarkets. Yeah, um, yeah. I should say as well, um, the supermarkets have been very good for keeping safe distances. Um, I went to the supermarket two days ago and they only had a very few people allowed into this big supermarket. Everyone outside had to do the wait, but they had to do the wait six to ten feet apart yeah. so when you went into the supermarket it was a very relaxed experience there was hardly anybody there to yeah. stop people getting close and spreading supermarkets yeah. have been have been very good yeah so do uh, do everyone in massachusetts uh, wearing a uh, facial mask when they go to supermarket yes so i would say about about two to three weeks ago no Yeah. Um, and this last week, yes. Yeah. The, the CDC, which is a, a big organization in the U.S. Um, for for diseases and infectious diseases, yeah. um, they released information, I think, at the beginning of this week, recommending yeah. that everyone, when they go outside, they wear a mask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and one of um, the government's top officials, a, a man called like Dr. Fauci, might be the wrong pronunciation that he also came out and said yes it's a good idea yeah, so yeah. i would say the majority of people do i would say like 80 percent of people do yeah. um one thing which has been which has been quite cool is um a lot of people be making masks at home like right in front of me here we've got our, our sewing machine yeah uh, so we found some old curtains so people have been like 
Oh, here we go. See, my wife, my wife has been making masks. Yeah. <laughs> for yeah, friends yeah, and for family. Yeah. So you can put like a filter in here. Wow. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's cool. So people are making lots of masks for everybody as well. So yeah, it, yeah. it's become a thing now. People yeah, are wearing yeah. masks when they go out. And yeah, and with this, uh, we can re uh, reuse it. Exactly. Yeah, so with this, and because videos, yeah. it's been difficult to buy medical masks because they're all going to the hospitals at the moment. Yeah. Um, because the doctors need them. Um, so, so yeah, with these ones, there, there's lots of things on the internet telling you how to make effective masks. But yes. you can you can put like a filter, yes. uh, paper filter, sort of in yeah, there, and so then you can put it through the wash. Yeah. So yeah, people are getting very creative. Yeah. Um, tức là thầy thầy bảo là quý phụ huynh nha các bạn học sinh thì. Uh, Nhờ những cái tuần trước á, thì là mọi người không có đeo khẩu trang nhiều thì nhưng mà à, thời gian gần đây á, thì mọi người đã được à, được được khuyến khích là nên đeo khẩu trang để đi 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 ra những cái cái nơi mà à, đông người á, và phải tự cách ly với nhau và thầy cũng đã đã thầy như là thầy đã show cho các bạn thấy đó là à, với cái cái khẩu trang của của thầy á, thì rất là tiện dụng tức là ở trong mình vẫn có thể để à, để thêm khẩu trang ở trong đó và cái đó rất là tiện dụng chúng ta có thể giặt và có thể tái sử dụng nhiều lần đó cho nên là nếu trong trường hợp mà chúng ta bị thiếu hoặc là chúng ta không có muốn uh, order từ ngoài thì khẩu trang thì chúng ta vẫn có thể là làm tại nhà à, thì cái đó chúng ta có thể là uh, tìm hiểu thêm thông tin ở trên mạng để có thể là tự làm hơn thì um, cho các uh, um, mình mình sử dụng thì mình cũng sẽ yên tâm hơn trong cái mùa covid này Yeah, okay. Thank you. So, um, Thank now, you. yeah, and uh, now we move on to the Support Room Cast Academy. So, as you mentioned, okay. that uh, um, convenient convenience store or supermarket are still open. So, is there a, is there anyone near this Cast Academy? Are there any supermarkets near Cast Academy? Yes. Uh, yes, there are. We we've got some 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 many supermarkets nearby. Yeah. Uh, so there's, there's lots of different choices, and and they they are all open. Yes. Yeah. So uh, is there any support for international students who uh, who uh, who are now keep staying in uh, dormitory in Cass Boston? So so yeah, at the moment um, we don't have any students staying in in Cats Boston. Yeah. Um, when when this when the crisis started in America, yeah, our students had just got on spring break so we made a decision early on that we wanted our students to stay at home where they could be safe with their families so with the moment we don't have any students um on site yeah but we we do we are giving our students a lot of support from the school even though they're back home yeah. um would you like me to discuss some of those things what we're doing at the moment now yeah yeah okay great um So some things that we've been doing is we, we've moved all of our lessons to an online format. So yes. all of our classes are, are online. And we started that around uh, two, three weeks ago. Yes. And it's been going well so far. Yeah. Um, we've been very lucky with our, our teachers and academic team have been quite excited about the project. Everyone's learning because it's a new thing for everybody. Yeah. But we're getting to a really good, good, good place for them. Yeah. Um, One thing we've tried to do with the online lessons to make it more interesting and more engaging is we've been having, well, we're going to have in the next couple of weeks, um, guest speakers. So not the teachers doing a presentation, but experts from the industry. For instance, in our fashion department, we've got um, uh, an expert speaker from, a, um, I think it's uh, L'Oreal. It, it's, it's a big, um, a, a big a marketing department um, uh, doing. So we're, we're getting people to come in and keep it interesting by special uh, um, presenters. Yeah, so. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, address uh, to, so, to audience. Yeah. Uh, thì, okay. yeah. Uh, về cái vấn đề mà uh, hỗ trợ từ trường Cass Boston cho học sinh uh, sinh viên quốc tế thì uh, thầy uh, thầy thông báo là hiện tại uh, thì ở Cass Boston thì uh, khi mà cái dịch, uh, dịch Covid này uh, thì các bạn uh, cũng uh, keep stay uh, ở nhà, các bạn ở nhà thì các bạn không đến trường nữa và uh, những các bạn học sinh quốc tế thì các bạn cũng đã quay về uh, nước sở tại cho nên là thành ra là uh, trường để uh, để uh, tiếp tục được cái chương trình học của trường đúng thời gian á thì trường tổ chức học 
online cách đây là khoảng 3 tuần rồi dạ yeah. ok và thông tin tiếp theo thì chúng ta sẽ nghe chia sẻ tiếp từ thầy Noel nha ok please continue the program oh yeah definitely yeah. so some other ways we're doing support the student is um, we've tried to make the lessons so uh, the lessons and uh, the, the advisors um, that every student has at least one or two live experiences being able to ask questions with teachers we have students from around the world which makes things quite challenging but that's one of the big things we're trying to do um, in addition in terms of trying to look after the world of our students we've still got our counselor a school counselor available and she has a very busy schedule uh, speaking with, with students who need her help or feeling a bit stressed feeling a bit anxious yeah so we have that service available as well yeah. and also um our, our 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 head of nurse is still around um julie and she's also available to give out advice when it's needed and also help coordinate health insurance documents between hospitals and medical records yeah. so we're also trying to make sure we keep our students healthy um healthy yeah and safe yeah yeah so how, how many students are there uh, studying when they this uh they study by online so so uh, we have about 470 students yeah um so our, so our 470 students are studying online now yeah, yeah. Um, and and our guarantee is that that um we will provide sufficient online lessons to yeah. make sure that our seniors can graduate and get into a really good college but also our students in the other years will have enough credits to go to the next the next uh, next class yeah so so students it's a strange learning experience for students i'm admittedly being online it's different but we will make sure that they haven't wasted this year they yeah. will be able to progress the next the next level yeah 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 it's great and uh, now we move on to the comment on facebook okay perfect yeah. yes please yeah uh okay uh, one question from uh, from a student that uh, do I do I do I uh, apply for scholarship when I study online? For example, they apply for the intake in fall twenty and twenty, and now uh, he is or she wants to apply for scholarship. So is it eligible for her or he or him? Yeah. So so at the moment um, we. I know our admissions team was doing interviews today. Yeah. So initially, I think the scholarship process was meant to finish, um, I think, a couple of weeks ago, but we, we've extended it. So if, if you have a student who's interested in uh, applying for a scholarship, uh, I would ask that they contact you yes. um, as soon as possible immediately, and then we can, we can get that uh, uh, ball rolling. Yeah. Um, I have to say some of our best, Scholars at our school have been from Vietnam. Yeah. Our Vietnamese students are amazing. Yeah, They're really, yeah. really, really yeah. great students. And they do very well on our scholarship program. Yeah, yeah, ok. Thank you. Uh, cho nên là các bạn học sinh và các quý phụ huynh là yên tâm là các bạn vẫn có thể là khi mà các bạn online thì các bạn vẫn có thể là apply học bổng. Thì hồ sơ thì vẫn như thế và uh, các bạn cũng sẽ phải interview với lại trường và ví dụ như trường hợp mà trong trường hợp bây giờ phỏng vấn học bổng cho kiềm phô năm 2020 á, uh, có thể là sẽ đóng lại. Uh, cho nên là các bạn vẫn có thể uh, defer qua cho cái kỳ in tech của năm sau à... Yeah, and uh, one question from student is that um, she, he, he or she was student at Kasperson already and when he come back uh, Vietnam so uh, does he uh, receive the refund for dormitories? So um, there should have been information being sent out by email um, last week from the head of school, yeah. Mr. B. Um, there is a refund for students. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, yeah. 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 So um, I would say check his emails about the refund information. Yeah. But there is a refund. For students. Yeah. So how about the refund? If they uh, if they defer uh, the intake until the spring of twenty and twenty one, so how about the refund of tuition fee? Or he just received the refund of dormitory? So uh, if the student is currently studying at our school, 
then there's not a refund for the tuition. Um, yeah. We're providing the online lessons at the moment. Yeah. We've kept all of our teachers and advisors and academic team yeah. are all still working at the school. Yeah. And yeah. they're all working on yeah. online lessons. Yeah. Um, uh, my 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 answer to that as well, if they want more information, I recommend um, speaking with um, uh, my my colleague who yeah. looks after admissions in um, in Vietnam. He's yeah. a really, really great man. Yeah. And yeah. So uh, Jack, contact you and then speak to to Viet. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he has all the information. He's really good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you. À, tức là về cái học phí ấy, thì các bạn sẽ không được hoàn. Thì những cái phí này ấy, thì các bạn của quý phụ huynh học sinh yên tâm là chúng ta sẽ được uh, được 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 um, được chip chuyển tiếp qua những uh, cái những cái kỳ sau và vì là chúng ta học online cho nên là uh, chương trình chúng ta học thì nó vẫn là liên tục hết. Uh, và những cái khi mà chúng ta học online ấy, thì cái grade, những cái tính chỉ ấy, chúng ta vẫn được tích lũy vào cái cái năm học đó chứ không phải là học online thì chúng ta chỉ học thôi và không được tích lũy tính chỉ. Uh, cho nên là quý phụ huynh nha các bạn học sinh yên tâm. Và Trang có nhận được câu hỏi là về bảo hiểm. Đây là cái cũng là một trong những cái câu hỏi mà rất là nhiều phụ huynh thắc mắc. Uh, là về cái uh, bảo hiểm á. So uh, for the insurance for international student, so do student use their health uh, insurance to cover the cost for COVID-19 in uh, US? Yes, yeah. So um, you'd always need to check with which health insurance you you have. But generally, uh, in terms of all the health insurances in America, all the major ones. I think all of them have said, if you have COVID-19, you're not going to have to pay anything. Yeah. Um, the test is free. Um, but healthcare over in America is complicated, so you need to check with your individual insurance. But generally, yeah. all health insurance has said, if you've got COVID-19, don't worry, you won't have to pay anything. Yeah, um, yeah. We checked the student insurance we use at school, and we had assurances from our um, student healthcare uh, that it also covers Uh, COVID-19. Yeah. Because with sometimes with health insurance, they have in the small print, the contra print, it says like if there's a pandemic or like if there's a major event, then it it's not covered. But we asked that question and they said yes, this yeah, is yeah. this is covered. Yeah. Um, which is good. I would say though that none of our students um, that we know of um, and we we would know have had COVID-19, and so they haven't necessarily tried using the student insurance which the school has so i don't know how long the process takes or anything like that because no one's done it yet yeah yeah okay à uh, các 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 quý phụ huynh đó là quý phụ huynh nhà học sinh á uh, yên tâm về cái việc mà uh, bảo hiểm thì chi phí ở bên đó thì tức là uh, lúc đầu uh, trước tiên á thì chúng ta sẽ phải check xem coi là Uh, cái tại vì khi mà chúng ta mua bảo hiểm á, thì ở trong đó nó cũng sẽ có những cái uh, cái nơi mà phòng khám có chịu những cái chi phí đó hay không thì chúng ta sẽ check lại với những cái phòng khám đó nếu mà uh, nếu mà họ có cover cho mình á, thì mình vẫn có thể mình sử dụng uh, để mà mình có thể chi trả được những cái chi phí trong cái covid 19 này ở Mỹ. Dạ. Yeah. So we move on to other question. Dạ, yeah, uh, cảm ơn câu câu hỏi của Thảo Vy nha. Học online là tối đa được được bao nhiêu môn? How maximum of a uh, subject that student can study by online? So, uh, students can study all of our subjects yeah. online. We're, we're still offering all of our subjects on that. Yeah. Uh, we've had to change the number of hours and format because if you're doing six, seven hours of lessons at well six hours a day of lessons at school in person you can't do that online like yeah. that's yeah, it, it yeah. would not be effective it would not be efficient yeah um it would be a, it would be a waste of time yeah. so we've had to try and change things up but if you study art you still have your art lessons if you're doing um stem and steam yeah science in english we it's you, you're doing them all still yeah um all of our subjects are, are offered dạ yeah. uh, tức là các bạn học sinh thì chúng ta vẫn có thể chọn được cái uh, tất cả các môn mà khi mà chúng ta học online dạ yeah. cho nên là bạn yên tâm hay về cả stem or steam uh, so the, the the subject is set on the the schedule of the teacher on the schedule on website 
It's mean. Uh, yeah. So each student should have their, their own own schedule. How we've designed the, the program at the moment is um, each day one of the main subject areas has their live lesson. Yeah. Um, and so each day there's a different a different different subject. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. So um, so each student should have their own schedule, and if they have any questions about the schedule, no problem at all. Yeah. Um, they can contact their advisor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yes. And then the advisor can coordinate with our academic team. Yeah, yeah, they stand by on time, right? Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and um, how about the extra curriculum in community service in the, during the COVID nineteen? Yeah, no, yeah, good, good question. Yeah. So, um, in terms of in terms of extra curriculum, what uh, at cats in terms of lessons? Um, our director of uh, athletics is doing um, exercise, keep healthy classes. Um, our health sciences teacher as well is doing classes to stay healthy. Um, we haven't found a way yet of doing community service online, but I like that idea and I'm sure we can do something. Um, that's what's been quite exciting about the doing moving everything to online is It's discovering new things we can do. Um, so I will speak to um, to Mr. B, the head of our school, and I'll see how can we help the community we're in with our students online. So I yeah. think that's a very a very good idea. Yeah. Something which actually the school has done uh, in terms of helping the community is that um, our our head of um, STEM. Um, technology and design, uh, a man called Mr. Jeff Napier. He has taken the school's 3D printers, I think we've got three or four, from the school to his house, and he is printing out on the 3D printer uh, uh, face shields for the hospitals, yeah. um, the local hospital, because because there's been a shortage yeah. of um, face shields and masks. So that's something which the school is a small thing, but that's something which we're trying to do to help our community. Yeah. Um, but I like that question a lot. I'm sure we can find something really cool and useful to do yeah, yeah. for our students. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, uh, một, uh, một câu hỏi từ bạn uh, bạn Trang đó là con tôi đăng ký cho SAT nhưng hiện tại là hủy lịch thì phải làm thế nào? Yeah, great question. Um, student said that uh, He uh, he registered as the examination, but now the exam is cancelled. So uh, how can they apply for a scholarship? So does Cat Boston require for SSAT uh, in uh, SSAT in this uh, you know, COVID 19 And if they don't have IL, so any other test to um to for student to take? Uh, so is this a question about scholarships? to CATS or when leaving CATS? Is this a student wanting to study at CATS asking about um, SA, about having a scholarship S while S studying at CATS? SAT and IELTS, yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah, because uh, all the examination now is cancelled. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, so not all the exams are cancelled. Um, they're changing the format um, a little bit. Uh, students will be able to do some of the tests at home. Um, uh, More information is coming out about that at the moment, um, and also universities are also giving out more information about what their expectations for SAT um, and the AP exams are. Um, so what I would ask that student is to, to email you that question, uh, and then you can send it to me, yeah. and then I will get the, the most up-to-date answer. I'll speak to the team today. Yeah, yeah, ok, thank you. Uh, và cho nên là vì um, cũng biết là hiện tại là những cái kỳ thi này á, là đã, uh, đã 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 bị cancel rồi, nhưng mà theo Trang được biết là có một số bài thi uh, mình vẫn có thể là uh, họ đã chuyển format rồi và mình vẫn có thể làm bài test ở nhà, ví dụ như là uh, TOEFL hoặc là mình có thể làm một cái bài test uh, LTIS. Yeah, so, uh, Hello, sir. How how about the uh, LTS test? The 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 advanced the advanced placement test or yeah. L so, LTS so yeah, so LT test. 
LT test. Yeah. So I'm not sure about that. So yeah. once again, if, if you can email me that question, I want to make sure I give uh, um, the right information. Yeah. The situation yeah. has changed very quickly here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I want to make sure so if you email me that question afterwards, I'll make sure we get a response today. Yeah, okay. Và cái trường hợp này thì case by case hết cho nên là uh, cái này thì trên sẽ phải gửi cái hồ sơ của bạn cho trường thì trường sẽ có những cái support uh, khác cho mình. Ví dụ như thì uh, bên uh, thường thì ở bên CAS cho đến thời điểm hiện tại á, thì trong cái trường hợp này các bạn không có IELTS thì các bạn vẫn có thể làm bài test IELTS với lại trường. Thì những cái hồ sơ mà trang đã apply cho trường rồi À, các bạn trong thời điểm này trường hiểu được là tất cả các kỳ thi đều bị hoãn hết và cũng chưa biết được cái ngày nào thì có thể là mở thi lại cho nên là trường vẫn cho các bạn các bạn làm bài test của trường để mà chúng ta có thể là kịp cái cái hẹn để nộp hồ sơ để xin học bổng tại trường CAS cũng như là uh, học bổng uh, IV 100% phần trăm dạ thank you for your useful information and now we move on to other questions Yeah, uh, the student asked that when the CAS Boston reopened for uh, for a student. So um, we've we've already made the announcement that CAS Boston will not open uh, this semester. Yeah. Uh, so um, this is because we don't know what the situation is going to be like in yeah, May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we even if we can get our students back to the school, which is it's a lot of money for students to fly back here. Students will have to be in quarantine for two weeks, and our semester is meant to finish at the end of May anyway. So there's, there's, there's no point. It'll be a lot of stress for the students and expense and flight. So we've said we're not going to open this semester, but we are currently looking at seeing if we can open the school for um, some summer camps. Um, uh, each year we have some some really quite exciting summer camps going on there for 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 teenage ages. Um, some focusing on art, music, um, English language, uh, and coding, computer coding programming. Yeah. So our hope is that we can offer those, but the situation is changing so quickly we don't know. What we are also looking at is if we can offer those summer camps um, online. So that's what I've been working on the last few days is, can we do online summer camps, some really cool computer coding camps? Yeah. Um, but we have every expectation that we will open in um, September when we when we were meant to open, so the new academic year. Yeah, yeah. The only potential challenge we see is we expect that the COVID-19 will be fine yes. uh, by then. I think yeah. that's everyone's expectations. Yeah. The challenge is um, it, it's going to be the, the embassies and the consulates are yeah. going to be very busy. Um, so that that's one challenge we're thinking about. Uh, if we want to open September, it might take students longer to get visas this time. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But we've tried to think of solutions for that. So what we're thinking is we will have lessons um, in the school, but also continue with online lessons whilst people can get their visa stuff sorted. So that means they don't have to waste a year. Yeah. Um, they might do online lessons for maybe, I don't know, a month, two yeah. months. And then when they have all their visa information, then they can come to the school. Yeah. So we're trying to think of potential solutions for it. Yeah, but yeah. We're yeah. really hoping summer, 50-50 chance, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Uh, but September, that's what we're aiming for. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It depends on the, 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 the COVID-19 uh, status in uh, in US. And I think that just can't reopen in September. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So regarding the the studying by online, so uh, does it affect to the visa of student? Um, that's a good question. For for the for the first time ever, I I found the 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 SEBP, which is the organization which um, looks after student visas, has actually been quite flexible um, with the, the the understanding of the situation. Um, yeah. So they changed their rules slightly, yeah. um, which is good, which yeah, is good yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. you need flexibility during these times. Yeah. So 
Um, one thing we're looking at at the moment is speaking to um, our accreditation board. So there's a there's a collection that the, the 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 accreditation the official board of schools in in New England. We're asking them about the the visa rules with online courses, yeah, um, and how that works. But the good thing is we're not the only people asking this question. This is the whole industry. So hopefully we'll get some answers and uh, the visa situation will be more flexible as well. Yeah, Because yeah. our expectation is maybe students might have to study online for maybe one month and then come here. Um, but as a community, we're asking these questions at the moment and they're, and they're getting pushed up into the, yeah. uh, the government. Yeah. It's the same situation for universities as well. Yeah, and yeah. International education, as you know, in the US is huge. There's millions and millions of students, so there's one very big voice yeah. um, asking these questions. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, okay, uh, she... Uh, last one question from student is that if, uh, if he or she is studying by online, is so how about the tuition fee? Does your school have any discount for tuition? Yeah, just one semester. Um, just, yeah. So, um, I'm not, uh, we haven't looked at that, that for, for next year. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the missing structure is going to be for next year. Mm -hmm. But our expectation, at the moment, we're just planning for, for online lessons for a short time and then uh, um, students coming and studying, actually living in the school. Because this is what our, our business has been. But what we're trying to do is is out of this, this, this emergency situation, seeing, you know what, perhaps we could also be an online international high school. Um, so we started having a few conversations and meetings about that. And then if we were just doing all of our lessons Online as and it was a, and it was organised and this is this is what we're planning to do offer as like a, a, a separate um, studying method. Yeah. Uh, then yeah, there would be a price difference because people wouldn't be living and eating, so there would be there would be a, a difference in price. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we but we that we we're not offering that yet. We're we're just discussing it um, as, as as a potential option in the future. Yeah. But I don't okay. think we're doing that in. Um, uh, 20, uh, uh, what year are in? 2020, 2021. Yeah, yeah, okay. Only online. Yeah. But it's something we're looking to develop. Yeah, okay. So, uh, the final question from student is uh, regarding to the uh, scholarship, 100% IB scholarship. So, he wants to know the admission to apply for this scholarship. Yeah, because it's very, so it yeah, it's very great for international student now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, uh, if you're interested in applying for that, what I recommend doing is emailing you, and then and then I can make and then you can contact me, and I'll make sure it gets to the to the the right person. Um, also, the the cat's Boston representative in Vietnam, as I said, he's very knowledgeable. He's 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 a great person, and he will be able to help coordinate that as well. I would love for as many of our Vietnamese students to apply for the Ivy Scholarship. As yeah. I said, some of our best scholars uh, for the Ivy Scholarship have been from Vietnam. Yeah. Um, they add so much to the school, add so much to the community. So um, I would I would love to see some some scholarship applications. Yeah, yeah. So how so how many interview rounds that student have to pass? Um, it 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 kind of depends. Um, there's at least three different levels of interviews. Yeah. Uh, there'll be, be an interview, I believe. Uh, with the um, admissions director for Vietnam, there'll be an interview as well with our missions team in the school, yeah. the head of school. Sometimes I join on the interviews, yes. and then um, there might also be an interview with um, the, the 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 head of head of Cats Boston, who's in in the UK. Yeah, yeah. So it depends. I'd say at least uh, three interviews. Three. Yeah, yeah. It depends. Okay, uh, thank you so much for your sharing today uh, and, uh, for update to COVID-19 and also the share about the support from your, uh, from Cass Boston for international students. And um, 
uh, due to the limited of uh, talk show time, so uh, we have to finish now. And any information, I will send email to you in uh, Cast Boston. Yeah, thank you so uh, much. Thank you so much. Awesome. And any of those questions as well, uh, please please forward them to me, and I'll, I'll make sure we get answers today. But thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. It's quite late in Vietnam. Um, I can't wait to see a, um, Vietnamese students coming to our school yeah. as soon as possible. Um, as I said, our Vietnamese students are some of the best we've got, and we, we love having the school with some Vietnamese students. So yeah. thank you very much, and have a lovely weekend, everybody. Yeah, I, I, I hope that the times are uh, coming is fine, and a student can come back to Boston to continue their study. Yeah, thank Definitely. you so much. That's yeah, but, Brilliant, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, bye yeah, bye. thank you. Bye yeah, bye. goodbye. À, và vì cái buổi uh, talk show có có hẹn cho nên là uh, Trang sẽ kết thúc uh, cái buổi livestream uh, update với lại thầy Noel ngày hôm nay uh, Và bất kỳ thông tin nào uh, các bạn muốn biết uh, về cái tình hình dịch Covid ở bang nào hoặc là uh, ở thành phố nào Hoặc là có thắc mắc về trường uh, học bổng ra sao học bổng của, uh, hoặc là những cái hồ sơ mà để apply du học Mỹ Canada hoặc là các quốc gia khác thì các bạn cứ để comment là cứ để lại comment ở bên dưới hoặc là các bạn có thể inbox vào cái fanpage của du học Unimed thì những cái series sau thì Unimed sẽ uh, chia sẻ về những cái vấn đề đó cho quý phụ huynh và các bạn học sinh uh, và thông uh, bên cạnh fanpage thì các bạn có thể liên hệ trực tiếp với lại uh, du học Unimed tại tầng 12 địa chỉ 343 phạm ngũ lão uh, quận nhất hoặc là có thể uh, liên hệ vào số uh, số điện thoại 091 826 09 uh, 0981